Hey everyone, it's Sunday the 5th of April and it's uh, 3.35 in the afternoon. So, for this video, we're going to be getting this thing up and running. I've forgotten um, how many gigs of RAM is currently installed. It doesn't say on the stick either. I can tell you it's a Corsair Ballistics stick of RAM. Uh, the processor, I believe, is an AMD, I think. No, it isn't. It's an i3. Because it's my old board in here, which was an i3 dual-core full-thread. <clears throat> uh, 600 watt power supply, that was already in this case, so I just left it. It's working. Don't fix what ain't broken. Blah, blah, blah. So, what I need to install, I've got a couple of uh, SATA cables in here already, let's make sure what I've got is connected, <laughs> right, disk drive is connected, installed disks are there, I think I'm good to go. So, I do need my knife, I'll put it right up here. these with. So, I'll tell you what, a lovely day out there. Can't enjoy it out there, but it's a lovely day. And I have just heard, both seeing articles on Facebook and on the radio, because I did have the radio on, that uh, the government may um, stop and, um, allowing us out to exercise because too many people are floating that rule. Unfortunately, there's too many people just going out there willy nilly and doing stupid shit like sunbathing on parks and whatnot. That's not exercise. Anywho, well, there's the SSD I bought, it's a Samsung 128 gig. Perfectly suitable for a, um, a boot drive. That is going to have to be mounted onto this first, I think, so I'm not going to get in there to get to those screws, am I? Let's see what I have an odd... Oh no, it's just my eyeballs. I thought we had an odd number of screws for a moment there. I might actually have to find something different. These go in. I actually give you the drive screws. Yeah. Right. Thankfully, this screwdriver should be magnetic. I do find when working on computers, especially when putting in a motherboard, a magnetic screwdriver is a godsend. <laughs> Don't. I wouldn't recommend trying to do that without the. Uh, Short screws in that. Really, really short, stubby screws from the looks of that one. I've got a new screw pot. That's the wrong screw pot. Bollocks, I didn't want to do that. Yep. What's this? That was just a pen and four. Nothing special. Shut the door before anything else falls out of it, shall we? We need to go through this pot of screws because everything has just been chucked into here. Got some pretty anodized screws in here. What I need. Um, also put a screw like that. How well is that going to go in? Very well, apparently. Spare screw at the bottom of the case now. Right. Let's make a mess. Got nothing much else to do, so. Ah, I think I may have found one. You cannot get over how light this bloody drive is. You know, completely different. 
Well, then I guess it would, it would be, wouldn't it? It's only a thin metal casing. Yeah, that's metal casing. With a thin circuit board in it, you know. It's not like a hard drive where it's got big, heavy discs that has to spin around and motors and... I don't know what else. I've just found out that this casing scratches quite easily. Oh well. It's not going to be seen in this. I don't think I'm going to put all four screws in, I think just a couple will do. And in theory this should just, yeah, just slots into the ordinary drive bay like that. Just for a bit of security I'll just find another small screw. Uh, that one might be a bit long, but I will give it a try. This drive does not like accepting screws, does it? Should we try that again? The threads the correct size. That's what it needs. I will disconnect my hard drive. I'm going to do a bit of cable sorting in here as well at some point. Um, worried for a second there. I thought I only had one um, SATA connector. <laughs> That's a downside with this. Um, I believe it has only got the one. No, I think it's all Molex coming out of that. No, nope, there is one SATA connector and that's up here. So, not very useful. Anywho, for now, just make sure I have put that in the right way. Because now we've got to line up the screw holes. I'll just put a couple in this side for now. It's got to be. I don't know what they're for. Unless I could have used those to mount the uh, drive into the bay, maybe the standoffs. Give it a bit of height. I have absolutely no idea. I don't care. It's screwed in there. Right. There's one. I will put a couple screws in the other side as well, but I don't need to. I don't need to do that yet. Apparently I don't need that screw either. Alright, you've got to tilt downwards like that. There we go. Okay, so I think this is the uh, side cable I have reserved for this. Let's put the power in. Gonna work with no power and ain't gonna send a signal without the that's filthy. What's gonna work? Right, there we go. So at the moment the only drives connected is the SSD, because that's gonna be the boot drive, and the disk drive. The only reason that I leave other drives disconnected when I install Windows is just because it's less confusion. Because obviously you get the list of drives that come up and if you don't know exactly which drive it is that you want you could end up installing it on the wrong drive. So just to save a lot of confusion I just disconnect everything apart from the main boot drive. So we need to connect and locate everything now. So one mouse. We need power. We need VGA because I haven't got a video card on this yet. I've got one that I could put in it. I've got a one gigabyte GD GDDR5 but I don't see the point in going through all the effort to take it out of the um, computer it's currently in to put it in this one just to go and change it in this one anyway. So I'm just going to find a graphics card and fit that as and when. Right, I need the monitor on. Uh, we need to turn it on. We need my disc. We need to put that in there. And we 
just got to leave it to do its thing. It's doing something. Sorry for the noise. The laptop CMOS battery there. When this is done and I know it's all working, I'll take the other side panel off and put a couple of screws in there. Well, in fact, I can put that one in. I don't think it's going to need to that side, but. Should have used these. It came with these screws as well, longer ones. Hmm. I might put those in a use as well. Actually. Now, where did that screw go? That bounced up the floor. Is it this one? Nope, that's a laptop screw. So I might as well use all the screws that came with it. In fact, as it's an SSD, I could probably get away with this. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I will though, because the um, SAT cable's not long enough. Okie dokie! English UK Storm blah 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 I don't know if these little rubber thingies are necessary but I presume they go between this Oh I know what these would be for That would be for if you're using a hard drive not an SSD because they're rubbery and cushiony I suppose just to add a bit of a what do you call it? Suspension, shock resistance, that's the one. Uh, oh. Apparently I can't format it. I suppose in a sense it shouldn't need it, should it? <laughs> this should go pretty quick. Right, well I'm not going to bother with those then. I'm pretty certain it's not going to be needed anyway. I'll put these screws back in. Be just a case of popping the screws in the other side. It's a bit weird though because this tray has got three mounting holes either side. But I uh, don't really need to use all three. That disc drive is really, really quiet. I might steal that and put it in my one in the um, lounge because my one's quite noisy. Alright, I'm chopping it into the screw pot. I've got screws for fans in there, I've got other different screws in there, they all got mixed. We need a good sorting through in here. Looks like we've got a laptop screw in here as well. Thumb screws for the side panels. Spare side cable I don't need. Right, what I'll do, I'll Pause you and uh, I'll return once this is done what it's got to do. It shouldn't take too long, it's up to 11% already. So, see you in a bit. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I changed my mind, I put the video card in from the other machine. And I found a 2 gigabyte stick to put with the um, 8 gig stick that I've got in here. So hopefully, I go in and just check settings. Do that, do that. Yes, I did want to do that, didn't I? Duh. Should. Yep. Registering 10 gigabytes of RAM. Yeah. And 
Windows is activated, blah blah blah, Intel i3 3220T, 2.8 gigahertz. Right. I was having problems, so I plugged in that hard drive that I've got in here for storage, and it wouldn't boot. For some reason I've come up with an error code. But I've had problems like that in the past. So I'm going to move what socket this is plugged into. I think I'll do that while it's turned off. <laughs> Only because there's lots of wires getting in the way, I'm going to have to unplug those first. You can't really unplug the boot drive when it's booting up, can you? Well, you could, but it probably wouldn't do the system a lot good. Alright. Let's get those out of the way. Feed that up. Just come up that way. And plug it. Into that one, I have plug boot drive back in. I don't like how loose these cables feel on the SSD, especially that SAT cable. I might end up changing that. So I'm just going to boot this time. Take the disc out there now. I don't need it. I take the disc out there now. I don't need it. Give me the goddamn disc. No. Why has that suddenly ceased to work? <laughs> hmm. So connected. Connector has just suddenly stopped working. Well, let's just see what's registering on here and what isn't. It's registering. Why ain't opening? Both hard drives are registering. Good. Oh, DVD drive has just disappeared. <laughs> So, for some reason, it's decided it does not want to play ball. Why does that not want to play ball? Uh. Shut it off. Have I knocked a cable, maybe? In, that's in. No, and what I did somehow, I've knocked the power supply out. I don't know how I managed to do that. So if I do that, yay, it works. There we go. Right, lay that on there. I'm having trouble getting that side panel back on because I've put the other screws in as well for that. Try. Um, that is what I was looking for. Someone's cooking a roast dinner in the block and it smells absolutely divine. And it's making me hungry. Why is it this tab always, always gets bloody bent? Have I got? I might just have to move you a minute. I need a pair of pliers. I don't know how it bends. Every time I go and put the case on, it's bent. So, let's see if I can just flatten that out a bit. If it keeps being a pain in the ass, I'm going to snap it off. I 
had some spare uh, thumb screws to go in here, but I can't find them. I know I have somewhere, but for now I'll just put a couple of pink anodized screws in. Whatever dinner that is, it smells absolutely gorgeous. Right. I have to gently lay this over. Sometimes I find this is the easiest way to get side panels on, especially when they're being a pain in the ass. Just like that. That's just gone straight in with no problem. One of these missing. I thought I had four of these. A little rummage in my pot. I've got another pink one in here. See a green one. Ooh, see a pink one. Yay, pink! I want to see another one in there. I got these anodized pink ones from an old Dell machine. I believe. Right. Gently hook this up the other way. Such an old bad looking machine. I quite like it. That'll do as a spare machine. Plug ether webs in. Do we have ether webs? We're not going to have ether webs because I haven't turned the um, hub on. Because I forget about that. In fact, what I could do is actually rip this cable out and take it straight into the lounge and straight into there. There's actually a, a disused hole in that corner. I could use that and just poke the cable through. Right, just bear with me for a minute then. Here we go, I've just been and plugged it in. That's when I got the uh, network doing it popped up. <laughs> Boink! That's good to go. All buttoned up, all I've got to do is upgrade that video card. What I want to put in it though. Upgrade that and uh, get another 8 gigabyte stick of RAM. And then the RAM will be maxed out because that takes 16 gigs max. I do remember that. And a half decent um, video card. My brain stops uh, locking up its gears. And uh, we a half decent little gaming rig. Just see a little blue LED in there. I could have already wanted to put a little fan on there, but it's got a big one in the front there and a decent exhaust one there, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. It's not going to be under too much of a, a load anyway. <clears throat> For when it does get used, at the moment it's just going to be a spare. Oh, no, it's got a couple of dents in the top there. I can't even remember where I got this one from. Oh yes I can. That was when the iTrade shop in town was having a clear out. And they put a whole bunch of stuff up on Facebook Marketplace actually, including a bunch of laptops. Um, and that's where I got my Xbox 360s from, or at least two of them. Three of them, sorry. One of them was dead though, but I got the other two to work. And I just took a life into this case. did have a different motherboard in it. The one that's sort of temperamental, so I just thought I like the case. I'll uh, build something into it. It's an old Cooler Master. Just off camera, isn't it? <laughs> old Cooler Master. This was all pre-installed. So I just left that as it was. I left that as it was. I left the power supply in. I literally just put my motherboard in. The video card, the hard drive, and the SSD, and that's it. That's all I've put in. <clears throat> it's 
got 500 gig storage drive. I could put another one in if I really want to, but for what I will do with this, I don't think it's necessary. Yeah. Well, I'm happy with that. It's actually blowing out of there quite nicely. And out of the power supply. That's good. And it's cool air, which is also good. But HDMI, even that little video card's got HDMI on it. So I can use an HDMI board. Sure, this has got... Um, it's B3? Yeah. So I've got the uh, master keyboard plugged into um, two USB 3 ports. So I don't understand, it's got two on the back. And uh, four USB 2s, so it's got USB th two USB 3, four USB 2, but there's no header for front USB 3s. Um, I've only got these U um, two USB 2s on the front. I have got a bay that I could put in there, which has got USB 3s on it. I think it's hiding up in this cupboard somewhere. It's in one of these cupboards. Yes, there is a phone you can hear in the background. Except I'm not using it as a phone, I'm using it as a mini tablet, basically. It's one of my mum's old phones. The problem... <coughs> that went down the wrong hole. <coughs> you just love it when you choke on your own spit. Anyway, it's one of my mum's old phones that's been sitting in a drawer for ages. The um, SIM card slot on the side broke. You can't keep a SIM card in, it doesn't lock. But I've charged it up and yeah, I've just been using it as a mini tablet basically, so it sits on the side there and scares the shit out of me. <laughs> so it'll be all nice and quiet. And then all of a sudden it'll make that chime. The number of times I have literally almost jumped out of my seat because of that. Um, might turn Wi-Fi off on it. <laughs> but it isn't needed. But yeah, I can't actually use it as a phone because I can't put a SIM card in it. So uh, I thought that was one of the phones Mum had that had a knackered battery on it. So I was going to buy a new battery and use it, but it were not until I went to put my SIM card in it, I found out that the SIM card slot was broken. In fact, what Mum had to do <laughs> was put the SIM card in, push the little protective door over it, and then tape it shut. It's the only way she could get it. And then again, that would keep coming loose. So she's got an LG. I can't remember now. That phone in there is an H um, HTC. I'm guessing that's just updated, up, updated, updated the video driver. That little uh, flick of the screen. Right, well I'm going to shut this down, power, shut down, I'm quite happy I've actually got two, I've got my decent machine through there and then I've got a decent spare basically, because my decent laptop that I would have used as a spare is down at Mum's, <laughs> where I use it and I need to, really I need to try and find a keyboard for that because it's getting annoying using a USB one. At least a USB one with a cable attached. I might take my wireless keyboard down there. I've got the dongle for it in here. Uh, the keyboard's buried in the cupboard in the bedroom somewhere. So, uh, bloody sinuses and hay fever drive you nuts. And I do get paranoid when I have to go at the shops or something because you know I don't want people to think I've got the virus or whatever. So I haven't, it is just hay fever, it's that time of year. Unfortunately, I ended up with my mum's sinuses. Problematic. Anywho, that's it for this video. I'm going to find something else to do now. <laughs> I don't know what though. I was tempted to go and count up how many die-cast cars I've got. Um, thanks to a video I watched from Laurie's Mechanical Marvels, where um, one of the team did a video 
going through six of his die casts that he's got in his collection. I don't know if he picked them as they're his favourites or if they were just randomly picked, but yeah, it's an interesting video actually. Very well done. Very well done and presented. I'd, I would certainly be interested in watching more videos like that from them. Laurie's Mechanical Marvels. There you go. A free shout out. I don't mind giving free shout-outs to channels and whatnot that I actually like, and I do like that channel. And I have a Discord server, which is absolutely brilliant to be on. Anyway, I'm going to end the video because I'm just rambling now. So thanks a lot for watching, I will talk to you all again in the next one. Bye!